Hello there, welcome to another great video game ideas not used podcast, GVGINU for short. As always, I'm Andre, and it is a pleasure to share my thoughts with you. So, uh, look, follow me on this. I mean, I know a lot of Nintendo gamers are going to love this idea. I mean, at least I hope. I mean, I have the strong feeling you guys will. Just listen, hear me out on this. Okay, I kind of hinted at this type of move in a prior podcast, um, that Nintendo should go ahead and kind of help Capcom out a bit. Like, we all know Capcom is in a bad spot right now. They're, like, in a really bad spot right now. And for some reason, a few game ideas just literally popped into my head, and I was like, well, fuck, I've got to talk about this. I apologize, I'm trying to cut back on my profanity, but that just slipped out. But, um, I was like, wow, these these ideas are some things that I didn't even think about before. But, no, just hear me out. Hear me out. Don't question me all with the condescending look, because I'm pretty sure somebody's doing it right now. But, um, think, think about this. If Nintendo went into, like, maybe a three-year-long exclusivity contract with Capcom, they could produce majorly awesome games. And, as well as revive a few series that have, as we know, pretty much dropped off the face of the earth. Now, like I said, you just gotta hear me out on this. You really gotta, like, listen to these thoughts. Now, the next Smash game has Mega Man in it. And, I mean, this kind of crossed my mind briefly before, but what if Nintendo and Capcom partnered up and continued the Versus series that Capcom is so well known for, doing either a Capcom versus Nintendo, or Nintendo cross Capcom, whatever way you want to drop the name on. It's an odd pairing, yes, I agree to that. But at the same time, it could be something so unique and fun that I think it would be worth venturing into. And, look, we know before that Nintendo has partnered with Capcom and allowed them to produce games for them. Um, We got the Zelda Oracle series, well, Oracle games. It was supposed to be like three of them, but they cut it down to two. But we got the Zelda Oracle games through Capcom and Nintendo partnering up. They could easily partner up with Capcom again for another Zelda game. And I I don't doubt that it would be an awesome game. I don't doubt it. Another thing that would be good for them to partner up with with, uh, Capcom again, like, along with helping Capcom out, they'd also be, you know... Making some worthwhile content for people to want to purchase the systems for. But, um, like I said before, they should go ahead and, like, definitely put down the front money to have Mega Man Legends 3 made, but also not just for the 3DS, but for the Wii U as well. Because there are so many diehard Mega Man fans that want that game. Trust me, Nintendo, if you decided to fund that, you would. <laughs> You guys don't know what you are missing out on by letting that slide like that. Another thing they could do is bring back exclusivity for Beautiful Joe. Yes, Beautiful Joe, and bring that back. And with the tablet controller, there are so many things that they could add to the game that just wouldn't be possible or weren't possible back on the GameCube. I'm sorry, the gamepad has a unique advantage where you can add so many things to it. That it's amazingly bland that they're letting these opportunities fall short. I would love to see Beautiful Joe appear on the Wii U. I'm sorry, I'm just that type of person. I want to see it. I mean, how awesome would it be to have a Beautiful Joe 3, an official Beautiful Joe 3? I know I would pick it up in a heartbeat because I love Beautiful Joe. I was so happy when they brought this series out. Um, but it it wouldn't have to necessarily stop there. Uh, If anybody's listened to my, um, 
my redo my GVGI and you redo podcast for Dino Crisis. That would be an awesome game to go back and do a full scale remake of. And like I said, Nintendo in, entered like an exclusivity agreement with them for like maybe two to three years. They could get these games done. I mean, yeah, some of them would have to be redone from the ground up, but it would be well worth the effort and time. Especially for a, a brand new Dino Crisis game that, I mean, yes, a full scale remake of the first one, and hopefully the second one. The third one, you can just let drop off the map and, and like, actually continue directly from the second game if they were to actually keep the series going again. Because I don't know what their thoughts were on Dino Crisis 3, but they. Uh, 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 no, that was not a good idea. But, um. But yeah, that's. That's basically all I was thinking. I can't really think of too many other games right this moment. But those are some of the games that I think that they would be well to get if they were to just decide, hey, we're going to enter into this contract with Capcom. We'll pay them this amount of money for these specific games for over this period of time. And like I said, it would help Capcom out. Especially, like I said, that Nintendo uh, Nintendo cross Capcom game. Come on, that's a genius idea. It, as odd as it would be, I think it would be an amazing game. Just because, because it's such odd pair ups. I mean, who actually doesn't want to see Ryu beat the snot out of Mario? I know I do. I somewhat do. But then again, I would also like to see the flip side. See that little pudgy plumber beat the crap out of Ryu. I mean, it's just. That's just how I am. And it's not like the Smash Brothers com- modding community hasn't, like, you know, voiced an opinion on this. As many people have thrown Ryu skins on Snake in Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Don't believe me? Go look it up. But seriously, Nintendo, do this. Go ahead. You know Capcom needs to help. I mean, it's not like you don't have, like, a close relationship with them anyway. Then you could also bring out content that Capcom has not been able to by themselves because you'd be funding them. And you would get them get these things exclusive to your console. And I know people will hate me for saying this, but I don't see Microsoft or Sony being willing to do this. Nintendo, I could kind of see being willing to do it because of the long-standing relationship that Nintendo has had with Capcom. Heck, Capcom had has had Mega Man on more Nintendo platforms than some of Mega nah, some of Nintendo's own first party characters. Actually a lot of them. But that's just my thought. And gosh, you know what? Get Capcom to do the next mother game. Not like I mean, I'm trying to remember the guy's name, but get him involved, the guy that actually created Mother or Earthbound, whichever one you want to call it. Get him to be the head of the game, to head the project, but have Capcom's teams working on the gameplay mechanics and just like throwing a bunch of odd stuff in there. I'm sorry, it's just, it hit me and I had to talk about it and you know what, I'm happy I did. Dislike me if you want, I don't care. (laughs) Actually, I kind of do care because this is YouTube. But I mean, in a general sense, is me an individual person and you an individual person? No, I really don't care. But as far as like, you know, maybe liking and commenting, possibly subscribing. Yes, I do care in that sort of thought. It makes me seem like an attention whore, doesn't doesn't it? Okay. All right. um, There are other things that I have to work on that I have to talk with the people that I'm working on those things with. But I just had to get that thought out. It was sitting in the back of my head and I knew it was going to stay there until I actually said something about it. So thank you for listening to my rambling and my excited tone, I guess. Especially after the last video that I just uploaded. Uh, Yeah, I can... (laughs) Thank you for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your game.